So, I put up one video earlier, but I thought I'd show you. This is what I do on Saturdays, okay? Um, I take the time to do some coloring. You know, uh, for me, this is a way to relax. Uh, you know, I have various pictures that I've done and, and, uh, you know, just something to do. And, uh, I just, I just, I feel that you need to find something, especially nowadays, and this is in this book, The Dragons, coloring, colorful dragons, 50 of them, you know. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. And uh, I take this time every week because, you know, it's the Sabbath and you're not supposed to work on the Sabbath and you're supposed to, to focus on Yah and and. Uh, one of the one of the things in the Bible says, uh, "Be still, and know that I am God." And for me, by doing this artwork and calming down and just having this quiet time, it keeps me centered, so that I don't lose my crap. Got a damn fly in here. Anyway, um, yeah, you don't, you don't, so you don't lose your, your crap, you know, uh, with everything going on in the world, it's very easy, uh, to get overly adrenaline up and overly emotional and you need to take a moment and step back and take a breath and focus on what's important what's really important is your family and the welfare of the people that you love and the people around you that's what's really important What's really important is focusing on, you know, winter's coming and and we need to have together what we need to have to survive winter. And let's be real, uh, in some parts of the country they already are having rolling blackouts. Can you imagine what that is going to be like come winter? when you have ice and snow on the power lines. Uh, so, I take this time, every Saturday, I take several hours to just do some coloring and just focus. Because we need to refocus away from all the craziness that's happening in our lives and realize that even though we have all this craziness going on here, there are people who are in much worse situations than us. There are people right now who are being killed for their faith. There are people right now who are in chains and are slaves and going through that right now in this world. There are people starving to death in this world right now. So, our little minor annoyances, when we look at the grand spectrum of things, we need to realize that our little minor annoyances are just that. They are minor annoyances. Uh, 
there are people right now who do not have full health who are dying and who are having to make decisions on who gets what of their stuff that's cold reality there are people who are facing their mortality today and their families are going through that today so you need to take a moment to focus and thank God for what you do have to look at the blessings that you do have if you have a roof over your head you are truly blessed because there are a lot of people being thrown out of their rental properties and being thrown out of their homes either because of war pestilence loss of a job loss of health or they just cannot afford it anymore if you have clothes you are truly blessed there are people in Africa that would give all of their teeth to have one-tenth of what you have they have no shoes a lot of times their clothes are feed bags that have been stitched together you are truly blessed so I just wanted to take the, the time to tell you what I go through every day and on the weekends I take time to shut off the craziness on the TV, to shut off the craziness in the news, to shut off the craziness around me, and take a few moments to reflect and to thank God for the minor annoyances that I have in my life. And that's just my words for today. Uh, I, I, don't, I, I don't know what this world is going to. I don't know. All I know is today is God's day. And today is a day of peace. And we should stop and give this time to reflect like the Father expected us to do. Yeah, that's my words for today. Bicycle!